Hi, it's Michelle and Shan Chong Birchong. You're looking at a picture of my father in a parallel life, Milton Harris. He, this is the occasion in my birthday. He came by with pizza and this wonderful car with all these lit candles. And when you open the car, it sings a uh, classical music song. It's a wonderful, it was a wonderful birthday I had. Okay, so happy Father's Day. Well, you see the May, April showers brought May flowers, and they're still here in June. Okay, so happy Father's Day to you, King George V, Father Milton Harris. If you, if you, Mother Superior Charlene Kelk marries, you'll have a virgin wife queen. So don't be mean, Milton. Give her a smile when you see her. Your smile is so sweet, it'll melt away any resistance to your charm. Two of your children, Josh Grobe and Jesus, and T. Michelle Birdsong, Mary Magdalene, are proud of their father. John Milton, author of Paradise Lost and Paradise Found. Our son, William Hayes, Papa the Sailor Man, gave us non-subtle clues about how nutritiously valuable spinach is, though better to eat it fresh and raw. William was one of King Arthur's Knights of the Round Table. King Arthur being Sing Bird Song, my and Paul McCartney's son. According to the most widely accepted version of the King Arthur legend, the Knights of the Round Table were a group of brave warriors who pledged to defend the kingdom of Camelot and uphold the values of chivalry. How are the Knights of the Round Table? Chivalrous. Ch chivalry marked Camelot for all the knights swore a strict oath that they would protect king and country. They also swore to help the helpless, show mercy to those who asked, refrain from violence, and remain faithful to their fellow knights. Excuse me. Explanation. Let me put this there. John Milton's thoughts on his blindness can be summarized as follows. He saw his blindness as a divine punishment for his pride and arrogance in his youth. But he also believed that his blindness enabled him to focus more on his spiritual pursuits and his writing and ultimately brought him closer to God. Big G. God, lowercase g, is Josh Grobe and Jesus Christ. He sings when you wish upon a star, your dream comes true. I listen to the jazz version by Wessler Whitfield, and I listen to Josh sing The Impossible Dream recorded during an appearance of Josh on BBC Radio. If you want to wish upon a star, your son Josh Groban is a superstar with fans all over the world. Jesus Christ Superstar was a hit Broadway musical. Comment from the public. Add Bentley, 50, what is that, 500, yeah, Bentley 500. I'm glad, this is what he says about the song, uh, Galileo. I'm glad that there is a singer around like Josh Groban. He is absolutely amazing. He makes me smile each time I hear his voice. True talent. Thank you, Josh, for making good music. 
which is very, very rare in today's music industry. Vintage Baby, 2006 comment, this song makes me want to cry. All of Josh's songs are fabulous. This is Josh, that's what I'm here to. Um, B like likeable eighty three says Josh is just amazing. He has a beautiful voice in the world. I think I'd die without his music. K H Pangirl eleven zero seven says I've seen him perform this in concert. Oh my god. So amazing. It gives a science nerd like me hope. At Kim Plumbing, 1430, seven years ago. Josh, you're a gift to us all. At Charles Seymour, 4456. This is so. This is so beautiful and so touching. I can't ask. I can wait another day. Her comment, if it's a girl, is amazingly beautiful. At Nancy Smith. This song is so wonderful, as is his voice. I get tears in my eyes. So do I, says Aunt Michelle Einstein's song, Bird Song, seven seconds ago. T. Michelle, June 18, 2023. And so do I cry as I play this song over and over. Josh's performance is sweet and haunting, says Frank Lloyd Wright. And um, Archangel Michael and St. Anthony, Michael Spear. And I agree. I am still grieving over my husband, Jesus, who died thousands of years ago. Now Josh Groban and I, his wife, Mary Magdalene, are communicating through his songs, through his music. A couple of nights ago, I woke up to Josh singing the song to me and our children, who puts the rainbow in the sky who lights the stars at night, who dreamt up someone so divine, someone like you and made them mine. I sigh and look up high and thank the guy who puts the rainbow in the sky, who lights the stars at night, who dreamt up someone so divine, someone like you and made them mine, someone like you and made them mine. Our Father, Milton Harris, Who Art in Heaven, sung by Andrea Bocelli and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Happy Father's Day, Father. I once wrote a lyric for Edwin Birdsong's album, What It Is. I called it, My Father Preaches That God is a Father of Us All, the Sperm Donor. Okay, so that's this is my uh, Father's Day tribute to you, Milton. And um, I'm going to bring some pizza over so we can have some pizza. Michael says, uh, Michael was my husband. He says, uh, New York has the best food. Italian pizza. Real Italians make this. And... Um, Indian food, our favorite. There's a bunch of restaurants on 6th Street between 1st and 2nd Avenue. It used to be. I haven't been there for a while. And uh, they have very nice uh, manners about them. They're very good at service. And the food is delicious, like Michael said. All right, so that's it. Happy Father's Day, Milton. And to all you fathers out there, and to you, Josh Grover. I named our children on that comment section that I put underneath your song, but um, I didn't 
put it in this uh, notebook. I know it by heart. Anyway, your children, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave only his begotten son, sons and his one daughter, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. So, there you are. So long.